you've got your Bibles, 2 Timothy chapter number 3. I'm not going to preach. I'm not preaching out of, uh, out of the entire text there, but I want to just get a few verses and, uh, and then spring off of that to give you what the Lord's put on our hearts this morning. 2 Timothy chapter number 3, page 1280. Listen, this, this is where we're living today, Brother David. He said, know this, verse 1, know this also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. Now, how do we know that we're living in the last day? Paul explains in verse number 2. He says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Whew. Amen. Men shall be lovers of their own selves. Have you ever seen a time that people don't love anybody but them? Amen. Men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, always wanting more. Want not what they, they're not content, they're wanting more. Boasters. I'll tell you something, people will brag, won't they, Brother Dane? Boasters. Look how good I am, Brother Kevin. It's not about God, it's about me. Amen. He said, proud, blasphemers. Blasphemers are those that talk about God but uh, live a different life. Disobedient to parents. I could spend all day right there. But here's where it's at. Unthankful. Mm. If we're living in an hour in... When people are unthankful, it's our day. Hey, listen, one way the Lord describes people in the last days is that they're going to be unthankful. Amen. They're going to have things. It's not that we don't have things. It's that we're unthankful. He says unthankful, unholy, and I'll deal with that in a little bit, without natural affections, truth breakers, and false accusers, but, but unthankful. And I want to preach simple thought, just a very simple thought about Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Get, or giving thanks, Thanksgiving. And, and brother, brother, we are living in an hour where people are, have so much that they have forgotten from where all blessings come from. Can I, can I just be honest with you? Everything you have, Brother Mark, everything I've got, everything we've got is because of God. That car you drive, that house you live in, those clothes you got on, that food we're going to eat, that job you have, those guns you have, those boats you have, everything, all those things that we have, Brother Tim, is because God gave it to us. Now, we think they're the hours, but they're not ours. They can be taken away just as fast as we got them. And we're living in a day and an hour when people don't want to be thankful. There's a lot of things I can tolerate in life. There's a lot of people that I can tolerate. There's a lot of people that I do tolerate. <laughs> Amen. There's a lot of people that I do tolerate. But I'll tell you one thing I can't hardly tolerate, Brother, Brother Harvey, is unthankfulness. You, you, listen, I'm telling you, Brother, Brother David, you ought to be thankful that everything you've got, God in heaven to give it to you. And in the day we're living, in the hour we're living, and the people that are around us, we're unthankful. Amen. Romans chapter number 1, don't turn. He talks about the natural affections, and you can read it. Uh, and I'm not dealing with homosexuality, but this is, what, this is where I'm at. It's because he said that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. They knew God. They knew there was a God. They knew. You said, preacher, how do we know? Because when people get have an accident or when a, a tragedy takes place, a hurricane hits the coast or when a tornado rips through the mid Midwest, everybody wants to pray then. Everybody wants to pray and talk to God and God in heaven because when they knew God, when they knew God, they knew there was a God in heaven and they want God to smile down on the situation. Neither were they thankful. Cost, neither were they thankful. Neither were they thankful. Became, became vain in their imaginations and were foolish in the hearts. 
professing themselves to be wise, they, Brother Keith, they became as fools. Amen. Brother Scott, I'm telling you this morning, hey, listen, if, you don't be, if you're not a thankful person, I, I got very little patience with you. Everything. Listen, I'm telling you, Miss Tammy and I talk about it going down the road a lot of times. I'll say the car we're driving, God give it to us. Now, you use the church to do it. You use you dear people to do it. But everything, a house we're living in, God gave it to us. And I, I mean, we talk about that. We mention that. I'm telling you, I want to be thankful, thankful, thankful. Why? Not just because it's Thanksgiving, but every day we ought to be thankful. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thankfulness. Thankful. Hey, can I, can I put it to you this way? If you're not thankful, that's a sin. Now, I'm not talking about lip service either. Yeah, man, Brother Wayne, I'm not speaking about lip service. I'm talking about a thankful heart. When there's nobody else around, when the, hey, when the choir's gone down, when the special singing stops, and the preacher's done, and you're down, if you're home by yourself and nobody else around, in the hearts of your hearts, you're thankful to God for what He's done for you. Amen. Amen. Thanksgiving, I like it, don't you? Brother, Brother Adams mentioned to us during Sunday school assembly how we've skipped over Thanksgiving. We've already, in our house, we're decorating for Christmas already simply because it takes us so long to decorate. It takes us a month to decorate. About two hours to tear it down. But I tell you, that just cause you put a, listen, you can put up a Christmas tree tomorrow, you can put everything up, but if you, you can still be thankful in your heart. And Thursday shouldn't be the day that we're just thankful on Thursday. And some people are thankful on Thursday because they get to have a Black Friday. How in the name of God Almighty would you name something Black Friday and expect you to be happy about it? Yeah, man. I ain't mad or ugly. I ain't trying to be ugly, but Kevin, I ain't trying to be, I'm, I'm happy today. I'm thankful this morning. But it aggravates me to see people that aren't thankful. Everything we have, this building, God give it to us. Amen. This nice pulpit, Brother Keith worked on it and, and did some alteration. God give it this. Praise the Lord. I appreciate him doing it. I told him last week I could probably have done it better in, in the shortest amount of time, but I lied. Amen. Amen. You'd have been, it'd have been a mess, is what it'd been. But we ought to be thankful this morning. Can I ask you a question? Are you really thankful? Unthankfulness is a sin and will bring, uh, will bring total uh, uh, a fidelity of sickness in our hearts if we're not thankful. Amen. Philippians chapter number 4. Let me just flip over right quick. Philippians chapter number 4, verse number, five, verse number 6. He said, let your moderation be known to all men. Let your moderation be known to all men that the Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing but in everything. Be careful for nothing. That day, he's not saying go out there and act a fool. That's not what he's saying. He said being careful for nothing. He said don't get so starched up. Amen. My, I, I've, I've, Miss Tammy took my shirts to the cleaners the other day, and, uh, and she told them heavy starch. And I'm trying, brother, I try to put this shirt on. It's like folding cardboard. I said don't ever do that no more. I said, it's like, it's like a cardboard. Try to put on a cardboard shirt. You ever done that? But it's not talking about, hey, hey, that Paul said, let your moderation be known. Don't be starchy. Don't be stiff. Hey, don't be unthankful. That's what he's saying. He said, let your moderation be known to all men that the Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing but in everything, everything. Hey, now everything in supplications with thanksgiving. Woo! Thank God. Thanksgiving. Let your request be known to God. Listen, we ought to be thankful in all things. Don't be caught up in the mindset of this world. Can I give you a few things about Thanksgiving? Brother Frank, a few things about Thanksgiving. Number one, I believe if we're thankful, we'll be holy people. Amen. When a person becomes thankful, hey, when he becomes thankful, they, they will desire and direct their thanksgiving in the right direction. Amen. 
Now, I'm not a shopper. I'm a go-getter, but I'm not a shopper. You know the difference, right? Miss Tammy goes, Brother, Brother Jimmy, Miss Tammy goes to Hobby Lobby, and she shops. I say, what you getting? She said, I'm just looking. I'll go somewhere, and she said, what you going? I said, I'm going to get something. I ain't going shopping. I'm going to the grocery store to get milk. I'm just not going to grocery store. I'm not going to Walmart to get milk and then just drift over there in the clothes section. Or over there, over there in the hardware. I, uh, no, no. I'm going to get milk and I'm leaving. Why? Because I'm a getter, not a shopper. And so our direction, hey, listen, our direction ought to, when we're getting Thanksgiving in our heart, our direction will be in the right way. Where your heart is, there your treasure will be also. Amen. So our, our brother Doug, our complete attention are to be are to be to the heaven to, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, the Bible says uh, James said like this. He said that we every good and perfect gift cometh down from the Father of lights. Well, there is no variables. Hey, listen. Everything I, I've already said this, but everything we got, God gave it to us, and every good and perfect gift cometh down from heaven, from your Father. Hey, everything, everything. It's hard to get off that, ain't it? Everything. Our attention ought to be straight to God. Thankfulness, thankful people. I, I realize, Brother David, God puts us, put other people in our lives, and, but God uses those other people, and we ought to be thankful to them, but our ultimate thanksgiving ought to be to God. Amen. Amen. Our Thanksgiving shouldn't be at the boss down at the work, workplace. Well, he gave me a dollar on the hour wage. I really am thankful to him. God used him to do that. Amen. God, God does it. So our attention, hey, holiness, holiness ought to bring us to the attention, ought to be toward God. The finest test of character is seen by the amount of gratitude. Hey, write this down. The finest test of character is given by the gratitude we have in our hearts toward God. The, te the test, the, the finest test of gratitude will be where our gratitude goes. Some appear to be holy, but they just, uh, they, they don't even give God credit for what he's doing. Your marriage is together because of God, ain't because of what you're doing. Your kids ain't out strung out on drugs, not because of what you're doing. That's right. Amen. You keep it in church, that's a good place to do, but it'll take God to do something. That's right. Amen. It'll take the Holy Ghost of God to do something. So our attention, Brother Frankie, ought to be toward heaven, and, our, and that'll produce some holiness in our life. It'll make you live different than what you're living. Amen. It'll make you live different than the way you're living right now. Brother Doug, if we're thankful, if we got thanksgiving in our heart, we'll want to live better. We won't want to live like we did before we got saved. We want to live like we did after we got saved. We want, we want God to be pleased with our life because, hey, because we are thankful to God that he didn't leave us in our sin and he came to where we was at and saved us by his marvelous grace. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We ought to be thankful this morning. Amen. I, I, Brother Pearson, I'm glad you're here today. Amen. Amen. I don't care the rest of you here. I'm glad he's here. Amen. Amen. Hey, listen, I, I've said this the other day. That when when the, the Peter, James, and John was at the Mount Transfiguration, they saw Jesus. But at the end of the day, Brother uh, David, it, they said they saw no man save Jesus. Brother Larry, that's what we ought to be. We ought to be, that's where we ought to be. We ought to be thankful. Then it'll get our attention toward God. Hey, listen to me, listen to me. David said this. David said I, uh, that we ought to give our attention to God. All our holiness, all our thankfulness ought to be to God. Unthankful people cares little about holiness. Did you know that? Unthankful people care little about holiness. They had a desire to keep up with the Joneses and keep up with people, and there's people around them. Amen. Amen. I feel sorry for some people. Did you know that? I feel sorry for some people. Because they can't live unless they got the attention of somebody else. Sad. I want God to have the attention, don't you? 
I want God to be glorified. I don't care. Listen, I love you. I love you, and God bless you. I appreciate you being here, Brother Mark. But I'm telling you something. My, my goal in life is not to, not to give you credit for what you've done. I want to give God credit. Brother Dean, I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate it, but I, if I, at the end of the day, if I can honor God, if I can give God the glory, if I can, whatever I say, God look at me and say, I'm thankful. I'm well pleased with it. I'm thankful to God for that. You say, preacher, that made me mad. If he's happy, it doesn't matter. Amen. Amen. Hey, preacher, what are you saying? I'm saying we ought to be thankful. A thankful heart cares a little about what this world's doing. Amen. Well, preacher, we use your word about that Bitcoin. I don't care. Don't bother me. Bitcoin design, it, all that mess. Don't bother me. Preacher, what, what about the interest rate? That don't bother me. Well, preacher, what about, listen, what about uh, in, inflation? What about all that? Don't bother me. Now, y'all thinking now, bro. Brother Clark, that don't bother me because I know my, my, my gratitude and my thankfulness, hey, is in God. And I don't care if, it, if gas goes to $4 a gallon again. God's going to take care of me. And if I keep my attention on Him, I promise you, I promise you, God will take care of you. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about, listen, grateful people, gratitude people, grateful people, thankful people, Brother David, they don't care what this world's doing. Let them go. Let them go. I believe you ought to be, I believe you ought to be in, in, uh, involved. I believe you ought to be, have some knowledge about what's going on. But I'm telling you something. I'm not, hung, I'm not hung up on what this world's doing. Yeah, man. I got to hurry now. I got to hurry. Number two. We're going to eat, right? Mm. Somebody said, mm-hmm. Who's that? So thank, thank, if we get thankful, we'll become holy. Not only that, it'll, it'll help us become honoring. We'll honor God with our life. Well, David said, I was glad, I was glad, I was glad, I was glad. When they said unto me, let's go in the house of the Lord. David said, I took a shout and spell. And they said, let's go to church. They said, I, I'm going. David said, I'm going, I'm going. Let's go to church. I'm going. That's what David said. David said, I was glad. Hey, I was glad. I was happy. I took a shout and spell when they said it's church time again. Yeah, Amen. Amen. I like church, don't y'all? Amen. Amen. We listen, I'm telling you, we have a, a thankful heart. We'll be thankful to God because God give, will give God the honor in what we do here. Brother Frankie, it won't be about you. It won't be about me. It'll be about him. Our songs will be about Him. Our Sunday school lessons will be about Him. Our preaching will be about Him. Our testimony will be about Him. Everything. If we come to church and do it just right, if we come to church because we're excited about it and we're thankful that God gave us a church, Brother Jerry, everything we do will be about Him. Amen. Amen. Don't be like the heathen filling up stadiums today. Amen. Filling up football stadiums, basketball arenas. Don't be like the heathen. Honor God with your life. Thankful people are like that. They'll honor God with their life. Praise the Lord. I, I'm excited about that. Hey, what are you saying? Listen, we're, we, we, Brother Doug mentioned this last night, and I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. Said the president said it's, he's going to Friendsgiving. Y'all heard that, right? Friendsgiving. Not Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving. That's because ain't, he ain't thankful. Amen. I don't mind, I don't mind people gathering together and, and, and with friends and family. That's all right. But don't change the name of it. It's still Thanksgiving. Hey, and by the way, it's still Christmas. Not Xmas, Christmas. Amen. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Amen. And so it's thanksgiving, thanksgiving, giving thanks to God Almighty for His blessings on us. Amen. The, earth, the pilgrims started, had thanksgiving, that first thanksgiving. They were thankful to God. God kept them alive. Brother Benji, I believe this. I believe that God, if we could somehow God roll back the window, roll back the curtain, and see how many times this week God spared our life, we'd come to the house of God, brother, and be thankful. 
If somehow God could roll back the curtain and let see how many times he saved you from that car wreck or how many times the devil tried to kill you this week or things happened in your life and God intervened there and God took care of that and God took care of this scenario in your life, I believe after that we'd be thankful to God. And we'd give God thankfulness when we come to get one church. Amen. Amen. Quit worrying about your problems and be thankful. Let me tell you how to get God's attention. Start bragging on him. Brag on the Lord, and you'll get his attention. Amen. Amen. Be, just start thanking God for everything that he's given you. Hey, listen, we are to honor God every day, not just on Thursday. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me give you a couple more right quick. Y'all all right? Give you just a couple more. We'll go eat. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get through these. I know y'all, y'all look like y'all are hungry. It ought, it ought to give us some, ought to give us some uh, uh, holiness. It ought to give us some honoring. It ought to also, if we get thankful, Brother Dean, it'll give us some health. Unthankful persons never, uh, that, that, that is never in the area of being thankful, uh, they're never content with what they got. Healthy people are content with what they got. Well, if I could just get that girlfriend. If I could just get that boyfriend. If I could just have that house. Amen. There's some houses around that they built some new houses around. And I'm telling you, they're nice, man. If you come up the road, you see that big old house. Got all that stuff going on. But it, it, that's nice. It's nice. But they got to pay for it. Then they got to pay insurance for it. And, and then they got to pay taxes on it. And then, and, then, and then they got to pay to keep it up or it'll fall down. So you still want it? Would you want it if you had a $5,000 mortgage payment every month? Would you still want that? Woo! Happy day, brother. We're, we're, hey, listen, you ought to be content with what you got. You ought to be content with what you got. Contentment, contentment. That'll bring healthy. You'll become healthy. Be content with the wife you have. <laughs> Stop looking at everybody else and be content with the wife you got. Stop looking at somebody else's husband or somebody else's wife down at the job. Start being content with the wife you got. Amen. That'd be thankfulness. Amen. If you start being thankful for your wife, she'd probably look better. Amen. And I know, Brother Frankie, I know if our wives would be thankful towards us, we'd look better to them. My wife said the other day, she said, Honey, you're still good looking. I said, What are you saying, Brother Dean? <laughs> she said, Honey, you're, you're still good looking. I thought to myself, That can't be right. That can't be right. That can't be right. That, there's no way that can be right. I looked in the mirror and I said, that? She said, yeah. I said, huh? I said, well, I appreciate you being content with what you got because this is all there is. Again, I've been in, I've been in the uh, elevator at the hospital and they say, whoo, well, you're, you, you're dressed nice and you smell good. And I thought, I said, well, listen, you do the best you can from here down. It's the best I can do. I can't do nothing from here up. Just be content with what you got. Be content with, be content with the, the wife of your youth, what the Bible says. Amen. Be content with your husband. Be content with the family you got. Be content with that. Be content with what you have. And God, hey, listen, if you learn how to be content with what you got, God might give you some more. Unthankful people are tossed around, driven around by the winds and the storms of greed and selfishness. Unthankful people are. They're like greedy dogs, always wanting something else. Amen. Blind with greed. That's what people are in our society, Brother Mark. Blind with greed. We shouldn't, we shouldn't live like that. I shouldn't live like that. You shouldn't live like that. Brother Dave, we shouldn't be blind with greed. Amen. 
Amen. There has been times. Listen, there have been times, and I'll just be honest with you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. There have been times, I, and, and even this year, as a fellow had a gun, had a gun, I said, man, I like that. What would you take for it? And he told me. I said, I didn't like it that good. But I listen, I, Brother Danny, I can't shoot but one gun at a time. And I got to look and I said, Lord, I don't need him. I, I don't need any more guns. But I like that one. And brother, thing, it, it, the problem is we're not content a lot of times with what God's already given us. And we ought to be thankful of what God gave us. And God just might give us something more. People work every day of their life, all day long, trying to obtain, 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 yet their hearts in unthankfulness. Work all week trying to make sure everything's just right thir Thursday for every food. We want to make sure every, food's, every food uh, 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 system's covered. Every food group's covered, brother, brother Keith, but they're unthankful. I said this years ago. I don't make. I ain't making this statement no more. I, I said this years ago. I said I wish to God some we, we, we'd become uh, un, we wouldn't be hungry on Thursday of Thanksgiving just so we can be thankful. My hand before God, brother. I got. I started eating. I said mm. I couldn't. I couldn't eat no more. And God said, I told you. I ain't making that no more. I'm just gonna be thankful, brother Wayne. Be thankful. Be th hey, be thankful, and, and, and it'll give you some hell. You'll be healthy that way. You know, people that are always wanting something, they, they're not healthy people. They're not healthy. Spiritually, I'm talking about spiritual health now. A healthy heart is the one who has thanksgiving in their soul and loving kindness on their lips. It's health. It's, the health, it's healthy for your heart to give God thanks. It's healthy. It's healthy, Brother Doug. It, it's healthy. Spiritual health hey, is, is, is lost in our generation. People are not spiritually healthy anymore. Well, Brother Harvey, how, preacher, how do you know this? I know this because the first little thing pops up in their life, Brother David, they're gone. First little adversity, first little problem they have, they're out. Why? Because they're not healthy in their heart. And a healthy heart, Brother David, will bring you some thankfulness. And give you this last one. This is the one I've been working towards. So you have health and you'll, you'll be holy and you'll, be, you'll have some honoring in your life. and You'll be healthy. But if we'll have thankfulness, if we're thanksgiving, if we got thanksgiving, Brother Dean, we'll be happy. <laughs> Brother Wayne, some of the unhappiest people I've met in church. And I don't know why, but some of the unhappiest people I'll ever, you'll ever meet is in the house of God. If anybody ought to be happy, it ought to be us. But I'm telling you, some of the most unhappy people in the world are right here in church. And I don't understand why. If you've been saved, are you listening? If you've been saved, if you've been born again, you ought to be happy. If you've had your sins purged, if you've been watched in the blood of the Lamb of the Lord Jesus Christ, you ought to be happy. You ought to be happy. You ought to be happy. Going to heaven, missing hell. Hey, the blood of Jesus Christ washed away all of our sins. We ought to be happy today. We ought to be happy. Going to heaven, the Holy Ghost of God is guiding us and directing us. We ought to be happy. Amen. The Bible says this. David said, happy is the man whose sins are forgiven. That's me. That's me, Brother Harvey. That's me. Happy as a man. Happy as a man whose sins are forgiven. That's me. You, had, you didn't see me before I got saved. You'd be happy too. Amen. It seems that we're always behind in the area of thanksgiving. I said Wednesday night, if you were here Wednesday night, I was preaching about uh, fellowship, and I said, it talks about how our, he, he uh, forgives of our sin. And what we got to do, Brother Mark, we have to be forgiving every day and continuously be forgiven. So if we, keep our, if we keep that ledger short, if we keep our account short to God, we don't have to have a whole lot to be an answering for each day. But if we let it pile up, well, boy, we're in trouble. 
And I've known people, brother, that got so deep into sin, hey, if they'd have stopped it before it ever started, and if they got some help before it ever started, they wouldn't be in the deepest sin they're in now. And now they got to the point that they said, what's the use? I've done so much, what's the use of hey, hey, getting right? Hey, there's all, so you can be happy. Dopeheads ain't happy. They're waiting on the next hit. Drunkards ain't happy. They're trying to get another fifth. But happy is the man whose sins are forgiven. Thank God. Woo! Happy, happy, ha happy am I. Amen. I'm happy this morning. You can smile. If you're happy, you can smile. And people won't think nothing about it. Some people, some people's got a spot, God has got to their place in their life that they said, I'm not going to be happy no more. Whew. Smile. I'm not, listen, I'm not going to tell the devil I'm in trouble. I don't want him to know it. Surely ain't going to let everybody else know I'm in trouble. Some people, listen, Brother Day, I promise you this. Some people, their face tells a story. They're not happy, and they're going to make everybody around them not happy. Wrong. Wrong. I'm going to be happy whether you're unhappy or not. I'm going to be happy whether you don't want to be happy or not. Well, preacher, I'm saved. Well, tell your face about it. You can laugh. Hey, you can laugh. You, 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 can, you can enjoy life. You can and smile. And you can run around with everybody. And notice, hey, notice that they're happy too. You won't focus on the negative all the time. You'll see some positive. Happy people see positive. Unhappy people see negative. I want to be on the positive side, don't you? Amen. The glass ain't half empty, it's half full. And my cup's running over. I'm happy. Hey, I'm happy in the Lord, thank God. I'm happy because I'm going to heaven. You ought to be happy too. My Lord. People are happy. They're thankful when they're happy. Amen. Amen. And I tell you this, and I'm and I ain't trying to. I'm trying to make a spiritual application of something that ain't spiritual. Say that again. I'm trying to make a spiritual application of something that ain't spiritual. And I went deer hunting yesterday evening, and uh, I went down here, and and uh, they they've been cutting some timber out behind the house, and and uh, and, and I said, well, I told Miss Tan, I said I'm going down there, and and deer hunt before they get all the timber cut out, and I'm not going to be able to deer hunt anymore for a while. And I went down there, and I got down there, and there was somebody on the other side. They was, I'm telling you, Brother Tim, they was cussing up a blue blazes. Somehow, somehow, the, the way the wind's blowing, Brother Benji, there's a cussing, and it get on that river, and the water bring it to you. It sounded like they was in a tree stand with me. And I mean, I ain't talking about, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about cursing. I'm talking about cussing. Brother Mark, they were, they were cussing. And he's talking about how he loved this woman, whoever that woman, forgot who her name was. He loved her, but man, he's a cussing her. I thought, buddy, you, you really love her? Then they started shooting up the woods with guns. And I thought, Lord, him. They cutting the timber off. They cutting the timber off. And I'm trying to get this last hunt in before the timber's gone. And you fellas know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get this in. Here they are behind me back there cussing. And I'm trying to, and I had my Bible with me. My tree stand's pretty nice. It's got carpet and I got a desk in there. Got a heater. A little port of john over here. <laughs> Y'all think I'm lying. I ain't lying. And uh, <laughs> sometimes it is, Brother Pearson. Sometimes it is. It has been. Let's put it that way. And I'm sitting there, and I'm trying to, I had my Bible, and I was trying to really, I was still working towards when Tuesday night a little bit, and, and I was working towards that, and, I, and this guy over here, he's cussing at his girlfriend because he loves her, and I'm thinking. And then they start shooting. 
I thought, I'm trying to study. I'm trying to, trying to be spiritual, Brother Ben. Try, try, Brother pa, pa, Parker, I'm trying to be something, you know. I said I was a, they ain't spiritual, but I'm trying to make it spiritual. I'm trying to be spiritual, and this guy's a cussing. They're shooting guns. And I thought about saying a couple of words myself. So I said, if they ain't going to see a deer, I ain't going to see no deer. People, I mean, it's like these people just in the backyard. I said, ain't no deer. And, and they quit at 430 and I, I, my, I almost packed up and left. But at 5 o'clock, I'm happy. Amen. So, so what I'm saying is this. Just because things look bad, just because things look like they're not going to turn out, they still turn out. Just be happy. Listen, I could be in jail tonight. You could too. It ain't like you ain't never been there. Hey, you could be in the hospital. You could be in the nursing home. You, you could be a lot worse off than you are right now. Preacher, I'm having all... You could be a whole lot worse off than you are. Hey, listen, you could be a, a spiritual ailment today. But ha, hey, be happy. Be thankful that you're here in your right mind sitting in the church house. Hey, listen to the preaching of the Word of God. Hey, happy, happy, happy are we ought to be. Amen. Woo! I'm happy this morning. I'm happy. Thankful people accept the will of God and wait patiently for God to do what is right in their life. Think that one through, buddy. Thankful people accept the will of God. There's a lot of things happening in our life that we're thinking, wow, I wish that didn't happen. It did. God's will is perfect. God's will is perfect. But sometimes it's hard to accept it. But we ought to be thankful that we can accept the will of God and patiently wait for God to do what's right in our life. Mm -mm. Thankful people are fully trust in the Lord, casting all my cares upon Him because He cares for me. Miss Norma's going to come play. Going to come play a little bit. We're going to stand to our feet. Let's stand to our feet. Miss Norma's coming. Just go ahead and begin playing, sister, when you find get a song. I'm talking about being th thanksgiving. 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 Are we really thankful, brother? How, how thankful are we? Are we really thankful this morning? Thanksgiving. How thankful are we? Brother Frank, are we really thankful or we just say we are? The Bible says in Psalms 144, verse 15, happy are the people. Are we happy? Brother Benji, are we just going through the motions or are we happy? Happy is the people. Such a case. He said, happy is the people whose God is the Lord. Brother Mark, that ought to make you shout. Happy is the people. Happy is the people whose God is the Lord. Amen. Miss Norma's going to play. You might want to just slip out and thank God for his blessings. I don't know. I'm not trying to urge you on. But you might want to just come to the altar and say, God, thank you for what you've done in my life. God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for how good you've been to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.